Delivery flights are usually a much celebrated event for airlines. While long haul aircraft usually make the journey with one non stop flight, how do short haul aircraft reach their destinations halfway around the world? Short haul aircraft such as regional jets and turboprops often have ranges of around 1,000 nautical miles. For instance, de Havilland Canada's popular Dash 8 turboprop is manufactured in Toronto, making it quite the journey for any customers outside of North America. Similarly, ATR produces its turboprops in Toulouse, France, making for lengthy journeys to customers anywhere outside of Europe and North Africa. How then do customers take delivery of these smaller aircraft? Firstly, short-haul planes are usually flown empty to increase the range of the aircraft, with only the pilots and essential crew on board. The absence of dozens of passengers and heavy cargo can translate to hundreds of additional miles in range. The other main way short-haul planes reach their destinations is by making stops, lots of them depending on the distance. On these stops, aircraft will usually refuel and occasionally even swap crews depending on the total flight time. For instance, on a transatlantic journey, which many Dash 8s make, planes could stop in eastern Canada, Greenland, Iceland and the UK before reaching the European continent. Similarly, on Trans-Pacific flights, planes will make stops in Alaska and different locations in Russia. These oceanic trips can prove to be dangerous too, with few diversionary airports available. Some reports say that pilots on these ferry flights even carry emergency survival gear and life rafts in the event the plane faces technical or weather issues over the ocean. To increase the range of the aircraft on ferry flights, airlines may also install temporary fuel tanks. This adds more range to the aircraft and ensures it can make an emergency diversion if required. In fact, this is something Hawaiian Airlines has to do on its Boeing 717s to get them back to the mainland. Overall, the journey of short-haul aircraft from their production facility to their new homes can be quite rigorous. However, after decades of delivering aircraft, manufacturers know how to safely and efficiently get the job done. Did you know about these methods to deliver short-range aircraft? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.